Namaste. Namaste all. Uh, as you had told, I was here uh, six months back. Uh, only since six months I am in UP. I think many are from North India, right? Can you raise your hands? Okay. Right. So, uh, uh, in this, uh, I have many students here for all my students. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> this class will be a repetition for them, <laughs> most of them. Uh, anyway, the topic is Uttaravasti. I think uh, this topic should have been yesterday, right? Uh, yesterday was Women's Day and uh, the solution for most of the uh, problems of women is Uttaravasti, right? We all know. And you, if you see the Basti, the whole chapter of Basti, Basti is a very big chapter, right? We all call it as after so many times. And if you take the main classification according to Acharya, Anvasana, Niru and Uttaravasti. part of this Bhakti Chikitsa is Uttarabhasti and this Uttarabhasti is in the hands of Prasuti, Sri Rogajna but it should not have, right? It's our part. Huh? Should be proud enough to say that this is the part of Panchakarma, Panchakarmist. Like even in olden days also they had Mamadajna, Bhastidna. Huh? Right? So it is isn't there in the text. You, if you, uh, uh, many times, in, uh, when you read Basti chapter, no? You just go on reading properly, you will get Basti uh, Jna. Okay? Experts in Basti, like you have now uh, spine expert, uh, brain expert. Even though all those thumbs under Kai Chiki Kai, uh, general medicine, they have expert in each ENT, I ophthalmologist. Dentist. So each thing there is a jna, right? Even in Ayurveda also it was there. Not Uttara Vastidna, but Vastidna is there in the classes. Okay. Now, so we are all going to become Uttara Vastidnas. Okay, after this class. Hope the. Uh, <coughs> let me tell you very simple procedure, very effective procedure. Uh, very simple procedure, very effective procedure. Everybody can perform. Everybody can perform. Huh? And many a times we think that it is going to cause lot and lot of complication. That is why we don't practice it. But it's not like that. Uh, because uh, after practicing, uh, we are proud to say that the first Uttarabhasti, urinary Uttarabhasti thesis from, was from our college. Huh? First Uttarabhasti, uh, urinary Uttarabhasti thesis was from Amrita School of Ayurveda. That is one thing. And even a Panchakarma person, first Uttaravasti, you try to to the Garbha Shayakata. Uttaravasti was also from my side only. Okay, anyway. So, <laughs> we will we'll start the presentation. So, I need not have to tell you much. much. These are all the introduction part because uh, we have very limited time. We have time till. 4 o'clock. Uh, I can uh, extend it to any <laughs> time and I can reduce it. Uh, so we will reduce till 4 o'clock. I think some people are already feeling sleepy because of the heavy food. <laughs> right. Now, so the Uttarabhasti, uh, very little explanation. So it's a need of the hour to develop the procedure. So we have already developed the procedure. You only have to learn how it is how it is being done okay so very little explanation so they have put this Uttaravasti in the side right in the, even in the text also very little explanation here and there they will give and they have put this Uttaravasti in the side so that they did not give much importance or explanation to this uh, procedure okay now uh, it consists of two words Uttara Uttara means it has many many meanings like it is an answer to many of the gynecological or uh, problems related to lady. Uttara 
need not be ladies only okay it's also applicable even for males also right uh, uh, bas basti if you have you googled basti googled basti yes yes so it comes a, a city of you yeah it comes a city of you have you put google i mean have you put the basti word in uh, pubmed pubmed no there's a person called basti <laughs> so he has published lot of he has lot of publication so that will go okay now uh, basti uh, for us basti is something which is kept in a particular place for a longer time even though it is shiro basti or budaka basti right even uh, kati basti jan basti and even akshitarpana is also a akshi basti right even kati basti is also called as kati tarpana okay so everything can be interlinked and you can change them nam na samya nama grahana only for samya nama is told okay anyway Uh, uh, basti, uh, we have the urinary bladder as basti. That is very much relevant here, right? Because we give medicine to the uh, urinary bladder and we uh, make it stay there for a longer time. So that is uttra basti. Next. So this is the uh, definition of uttra basti is not seen in any of the classical textbook. It is Chakrapada who commenting on. Uh, Charaka Siddhi 9th chapter says about the definition of uh, basti. Uh, uttara basti samya uttara margena diya manataya. Uttara margena diya manataya. This is called as uttara basti because it is given through uttara marga. Now, what is this uttara marga? Budad uttarena. This is also not told in the class main shlokas. It is also by the commentators. Budar uttarena, the uttara marga to the Buddha. Now uttara marga to the Buddha, the uh, anus, the marga above the anus is either it is urinary or vagina. Okay, uh, urinary is there in both male and female, and vagina fruit is only in females. Okay, it is also kimva shreshta guna taya uttara vasti. It imparts shreshta guna to the person. Shreshta guna. Child bearing capacity is the Shreshta Buddha of a lady. Commonly, it is especially told for ladies, and it is also related to the reproductive system of a male. Okay, so it can impart Shreshta Buddha to either Vidya or Atma. So that is why it is called as Shreshta Buddha Taya Uttaravasti. Now, there is some other explanation saying that Uttrista Ayavai Abayave Dhani. So it is given to you Uttrista Ayavai. Of course, that is the uterus, right? The bhasha is the putkrishna abhaya. Now, next. Now, based on marga, as I as we have told, mudra marga and yoni marga. If based on dravya, see, we know that mudra marga and yoni marga are buddha duttarena. As such, you don't get the classification. It's it's our development to say that it is. to mudra marga or yona marga and dravyanusara this is also not told in the text it is also told by the it is told by dhanacharya snaihika and nirohika based on the dravya now snaihika means it, it can be any sneha okay it can be any sneha but nirohika means not like our nirohika maksikam lavana sneha everything is not there it is other than sneha it can be kashaya it can be shila marga It can be honey alone. Okay. It can be a shi, kshara, kshara pani, paniya. Okay. So something like that. Other than anything other than uh, sneha, we come under nirupika. Not that there is a combination of all the six items which are told in the nirupika system. Okay, based on gender, of course, because of the different in the anatomical position, the anatomical framework, the procedure also varies. Okay, so panchakarma means procedure. Uh, actually, uh, we give results because of the speciality in our procedures, not because of the uh, like not because of the shamanaushri very com different combination of shamanaushri because vamana. 
only one right for all the diseases. Videjana, uh, not one that there are many drugs, but still it is like fibrat only, many diseases. Basti, nasya, not like that. Basti, nasya, there is drug action. Along with the procedural action, there is drug action. Okay. Stri and Kum. Now, uh, this is, this was in red, okay, because of the light you cannot see. Stri Uttara Basti. Again, I will be concentrating on Stri Uttara Basti. So, it is either to urinary or vaginal or uterine. There are three margas. Either for Mutra Marga, urinary or Yonigata. Yonigata again too. Either to vagina or to uterus. So, totally in Stri you have, when you tell Mutra Uttara, Uttara Basti, it can be urinary, uh, vaginal or uterine. So, three margas are there in a three. Okay, next. So, we will see about the Mutra Margajat Uttara Basti. Okay. So, I think this we will skip, no? This is about the organ. Huh? Next. Next. <coughs> next. Now, some little bit about the urethra of female 4 cm long urethra of a female is 4 cm long it lies between the clitoris and vagina because this is very important because many a times what happens when you insert the uh, uh, uttara basti netra you will insert to the vagina yeah? because the uh, orifice of urethra is very very small it is difficult to identify. Many a times in a human being, when a patient comes to you, it is difficult to identify unless you, you see it properly, you open it properly and see. So that is, uh, uh, so you should be, you should know that it lies between the clitoris and vagina. Between the internal and external urethral orifice lies the urethra. It has sphincters and any injury to the sphincters will cause incontinence to the urethra. So, any, in, uh, any injury to the these sphincters will cause incontinence to the urethra. Okay, next. So, these things I am going to uh, explain today. Indication, contraindication, dose, basti yantra, medicine and finally we will move on to the procedure. Basti vikara. Basti vikara Mutra Graha, Bindu Srava, Mutra Ghata, Mutra Dosha, Shakara, Ashmari, Basti, Vangshana, Mehana, Shula. So based on each, each, each condition, the drug name is. Okay. So it can be uh, any type of Basti Vikara, Mutra Graha. Not a complete Graha. Okay. Complete block. You cannot do, you have to catheterize and remove the urine, that's all. But different other uh, mutra grahas can be uh, and bindusrava because of the incontinence or uh, dribbling of urine are common in old age. Mutra ghata anyway, mutra dosha, all those comes almost uh, nearer. Shatkara ashmari, commonly we don't practice shat, uh, uttra basti in shatkara and ashmari. But uh, they have told, so it's an area of research. You can go for uh, Uttara Basti in Shakar and Ashmari also, and Shula in any of the related parts. Next, contraindication. So, only one contraindication for any type of Uttara Basti is Prameha. Maybe uh, Prameha generally is not indicated because even though it is a Basti Gadrikara, but it is a Sarvadohi, Sarvadohi ka Samprapti is there. Samprapti is in whole body, but even though it is a Basti Vikara, that may be the reason why Prameha is told as contraindication. Any type of hypersensitivity should be contraindicated. Then bleeding disorders, like it can be a CA also, it should be contraindicated. Then uh, fistula. Psycho vaginal fistula or uh, urethro vaginal fistula. Such fistula should be 
contraindicated diverticular in a, in that root should be contraindicated and genetic congenital anomalies even though they say uh, some anatomical uh, anatomical lesions can be treated with uh, uttravasti but i don't think uh, i don't know actually you can try because when when they say that by conveyed uterus and all there are doctors who have tried and uh, i think uh, this pahi uh, Bahida, Bahida Rahman Rada. She she does uttrabasti even in bicondylar uterus, which is an anatomical problem, and she says that she has got it, sir. But I don't know. She says actually, right. So genetic and congenital anomalies should be generally contraindicated for uttrabasti. Look, now, now dose. It can be sneha or it can be kasha. It can be sneha or it can be kashaya, but the uh, according to acharyas, sneha dose is one pala and kashaya dose is two prasada. Sneha is one pala and kashaya is two prasada. We should know that the capacity of our uh, bladder is around 400 to 600 ml. 400 to 600 so at least half of the bladder capacity should be filled so that is why 200 ml is commonly practiced 200 ml is either it is neha or kashaya 200 ml is commonly practiced for uttravasti now think that if the patient is having too much of uti and she is having a lot of epithelial cells epithelial cells in her uh, urine uh, examination, then you can go for 200 ml of kashaya. That is for basti shodhana. Okay. Or if the patient is having pain in the bladder region, pain in the bladder region but no other problems, then you can go for 200 ml of sneha, any sneha. So that is for brahmana or snehana action. So based on the action, you can select your drug. But the dose will be practically practiced dose is this one. Okay, 200 ml common. Next. Huh. <coughs> we know that Purva, Purva Karma for Uttara Basti is the Uha Basti. V3 Astha Panashuddhe Vya. So, 2 to 3 Uha Basti is the Purva Karma for any of the Uttara Basti, either vaginal or uterine or mudra So, the, uh, it, is usual, it can be done in Durvana and Madhyana, not in Aparana, Aparana in evening, not in the evening line. Morning or afternoon, it is can be done. Uh, you can do it in a classical pattern, like uh, Niruha. See, the third point is three Niruhas. One day, first day Niruha, second day Niruha, third day Niruha. Fourth day onwards, five Uttar Vastis can be practiced. Or even seven Uttar Vastis can be practiced. Every day, one one Uttar Vastis. Okay? Every day, one one Uttar Vastis. That can be a pattern. Or, you can also use three Niruha Vastis in the morning. Morning, morning three days continuous Niruha Vastis. On the same day, afternoon Uttar Vastis. On the same day, afternoon, Uttara Basti. Or you can also do morning Yoga Basti pattern. Every day morning Yoga Basti pattern and afterward, afternoon, Uttara Basti. For the, all the eight days. That can also be done. Or else, for these you need IP admission. Okay. But you can also do Uttara Basti in OPD basis. To, for either 3 days, 5 days or 7 days and uh, if you think that a patient is having severe UPA, they commonly come to you, severe UPA, ask the patient to stay for one day, do 3 uttravasti on the same day, morning, afternoon and evening, morning, afternoon and evening, you will get the same day, evening, you will get the result. Okay. 
So uh, after my talk on this Uttra Basti, uh, the next day I got, I got, not from next day, next week, I got a, a three Nilu three people sending me message telling that we did three, uh, that was also on the summer, okay. So we did three Uttra Basti on one day and the patient was almost 80% okay. On one day, only one day, no admission, morning, afternoon and evening, you do Uttravasti. So the patient will be almost 80% okay, not 100%, 80% okay. Right. So this, these are the different patterns, how you can practice Uttravasti. Uh, do you all want to stand up and sit down uh, feeling sleepy? No? 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 Okay. Right. Because you are all also like me only. <laughs> we are all teachers. Huh? Or if anybody wants to add anything, you can add, okay? In between only, you can speak and add. Huh? No, no, no. Niruha. Asthapana. Buddha Margarita. That is the Purva. Okay. We three Asthapana Shuddhevya. Asthapana. No, 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 no worries. This is because this continuous Niruha Basti is called going to cause Rukshata. Right. And for Uttar Basti, common drug chosen is a Sneha. So, making Rukshata so that you the Sneha will get absorbed. That is the idea behind it. Yoga Basti. Yes. Yoga Basti. Eight days of Yoga Basti. Anuvasana Niroha Anuvasana Niroha. That is in the morning and in the evening you can go for Uttar Basti. Sir, can we? In the same way. One day we are giving three Basti that are Niroha Basti or Uttar Basti. Which one? Different patterns we have to follow only one. One. You follow one only one pattern. Based on your convenience and your patient's convenience and the necessity. Either we have to go three Niru or five. Uh, ha, you can you can follow any of these patterns. You can change for different patients also. Okay. And after completing of your must can we start with the service? Yes, that you can you can do after Niru Basti complete. I'm sorry, after yoga basti complete, you can go for uttar basti also, after that also. That can be done. Only thing that this uh, prior pura karma should be asthapana basti. That's all. If you are giving uttar basti, you have to select such a patient who is more ruksha. Then only you can give anvasana basti in between, right? So if it is more snigdha person, go for niru basti. Like that if you want, you can continuously give niru basti for five, six days, then go for Uttar Basti. You want more and more Rukshata in that area. Okay? Right? Okay? Shall we move? Yeah, we need some some interaction like this so that everybody will be awake. This instrument, this is according to Ayurveda classics. Okay? I think we'll skip this. Okay. Next. This is, ah, okay, this one. This is also according to the text, okay? Because uh, I skip this because we all know it and we don't have time. You also want to get free by four, right? What is your prog uh, program after four today? No. Nothing. Nothing. No problem. Okay. Huh? Shopping. <laughs> okay. You can uh, sleeping, shopping, everything can be done. No, sleep only in the night because this is a very beautiful area. Uh, you can move here and there. Sleep only in the night. Minimum sleep. Next. Madam. Yes. In the case of UTI, what you are discussing. Huh. It was free throws. Huh. So that is direct throws, you know. Huh, direct. No. You know. No, 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 no. Patient will come no, there, so ah, yeah, direct. Which oil you want to uh, That will come. Medicines. We we'll have the list of medicines. Now, for urinary uttara basti, what you, for basti netra, what you will take. Okay? So you are all familiar with these two. That is red rubber catheter. 
okay and this is 8 8 to 12 number you can use 8 to 12 red red rubber catheter this is infant feeding tube this is infant feeding tube that can also be used because no, sometimes red rubber catheter you cannot put it inside. You need a thinner one. So infant feeding tube is a very 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 thin slender that can be used. Next, for basti putaka, you can use a 20 cc syringe. Okay, 10 cc syringe you can use, but you will have to because 200 ml you have to push no. So it takes a very longer time. If you take 20 cc, it is fine. For me, 20 cc is fine. More than that, I cannot use with my one hand. I cannot pull the whole dravya in that because I will only be gloved, right? So, you can use 50 cc if you have a subordinate or a helper. Okay, 50 cc syringe is also fine if you have a helper. If you are alone, go for 20 cc. Okay. This is a mm, bladder wash. This one is a bladder wash. Can you see or should we off this? No, no, no. You can see. So this is a bladder wash. You can take it, but when you insert, no, you have to ins uh, slowly release so that the aushadi goes. Because if you just leave it, whole dravya will go fastly. So we need to slowly release the dravya into the uh, into the organ. Right. Next. So you need everything to be sterilized. Okay. You need an auto uh, If you have a clinic, you now most of you may be having clinic, right? Your own clinic. Your own clinic, no? Yes. So you you would not have to buy an autoclave as such. If you have a cooker also it's fine, right? You can autoclave inside the cooker. Huh? That is also possible. And you need the medicine. You need salt, normal saliva. Okay. Next. You need a kidney tray. You need a cold towel. Okay. Next. These are cleaning agents. Some swabs, some uh, cotton uh, gauzes. Okay. Next. You need gloves and you need xylocaine jelly. <coughs> so you can avoid even xylocaine jelly, you can use thyla. Our thyla can also be used, but otherwise, if necessary, if the patient is having stricture or if it's in severe acute UTI, they will not allow you to touch. So in such conditions, you can use xylocaine. Okay, yeah, next. Which thyla is used? Any thyla, because we need that greasy effect. Okay, Dharmantara, Murivanna, the thing. Next. Now, yogas. Few yogas. If it is a UTI, Gokshura, Punarnava, Eranda, Kashaya, or Shirapaka. Okay. Gokshura, Punarnava, Eranda. This was our study with Shirapaka of Gokshura, Punarnava, and Eranda. That's, that was in uh, UTI, okay, cystitis, what we call cystitis. Uh, if more burning sensation, you can add Shatavari also to that. Or even Eshtibadu can also be added. You can make Shirapaka or Kashaya, both can be done. Based on necessity, okay. Now cystitis, the same drugs, but the uh, it's Property should be Pittahara, Mutrala and Shariya. Shariya. It, it, it needs to scrape out the epithelium. Cystitis means it's a very chronic condition. Chron chronic UTI, UTI goes for cystitis. Then it will be it should be Pittahala, Pittahara, Mutrala and Kshara Shariya uh, in nature. So you can opt for Apamarga, Kshara uh, Paniya or uh, Shweta Parpati Paniya, very commonly used drug. Your clinic will you will have it in your clinic. Shweta Parpati. You mix it in water, hot water. You can use it. Now, uh, dose two hundred ml. Concentration of Apamarga Shara. Actually, what we do now, we take uh, one fourth of the uh, spoon and we mix it. 
so we did not weigh it actually. Maybe below five five grams, it will be two three grams. Incontinence. So incontinence, you need balya drugs, right? Balya drugs. So it will be balataila, shira balataila, sukumara khata. Next, hydronephrosis. Actually, it is not done by me. It's done by another doctor, Varunadya Kashaya, and he claims that hydronephrosis was reduced after uttaravasti. Prolapse, anyway, balataila. Next. Now, Niruhavasti Yoga to be used as a Kurakarma. It can be Erenda Mooladi Niruhavasti, Kshira Vaitaranavasti, or even Kshara Vaitaranavasti. It depends on here. If you want a Pittahara effect, you can go for a Kshira Vaitarana, a Kafahara effect, Kshara Vaitarana. Or if you want a Brahmana effect, like if you are concentrating on a prolapse case, then it will be Mustadi Yatanavasti or a Kshira Vasti. Okay, these things can be uh, used for Niruhavasti. Next. Now, uh, next, I think these everybody know what is the procedure, how it is told in the class 6. Now, let us see the next slide. Okay. Pura karma in Jirnana Avasta, like all the other Pancha karmas, even Uttaravasti. Is also done in the Jirnana Avastha. Sthanika Abhyanga or Sarvanga Abhyanga followed by Sarvanga Sveda has to be done. Then you are going to administer the Niroha Basti. After Basti Pratyagavana, you have to give Snana, then Ahara, then the in the place of Anvasana Basti, right? After Niroha Basti, we commonly give Anvasana Basti. In the Sthana of Anvasana Basti, you are going to give Anvasana Next. Then it is mandatory to do Sarvang Abhyan Svedan or local, local Abhyan Svedan is also. Yeah. See, this is a big thing, right? For Basti, for Udhalata Basti, we need all the pushas come, should come from all over the body to the Buddha. But uh, when it is Uttara Basti, it is a local treatment. Yes. Like Kati Basti, Tarpana, etc. It's a local treatment. We don't want all the doshas come to be coming from all over the body. But if you are going to do Niruha Basti, then Sarvang Kamchenga is necessary. Not Sani Kamchenga. That we commonly practice Sani Kamchenga, right? Yeah. So we should, uh, we Panchadharma people should make more efforts to start with Sarvang Kamchenga. Then only we can get the doshas from all over the body to the uh, Buddha Pratani, Pakwashe, right? That is only the, because uh, for Vamana and Vinayana we have Snehapana, Abhyanga Svedana, which will bring the doshas. But for Basti, Basti itself has the capacity to move throughout the body and bear the doshas. But still, Pura Karmas are very much necessary. We should always make a try to practice Sarvang Abhyanga before the Basti. Okay. Next, yeah, Pradhana Karma, you should uh, auto clear everything first and after that uh, usually after the food uh, after external cleaning uh, you have to insert the basti netra <coughs> push the drug slowly and remove the netra and ask the patient to lie down there for some time okay then you can shift the patient patient can walk and go to the board okay now Niruha uh, Basti, Jirnahara is general, general Basti, for general Basti, for this na, it is after food. Purvana need not be soon after food, after food it should be, because you need to have Bala, like uh, even they say to give Yavab, means light food, but it should be after food, like, like Moodhavat, uh, Moodhagarbha when they exercise, no? They say that you have to have food so that the patient should have some pala. So similarly, Niruha Basti should be in Jinahara Avastha, but this after food, not soon after food. Okay. So this is some pictures to say that <coughs> this is from the Google images. Here and there I have taken. But this are indicative of the different procedure uh, steps of Uttaravasti. First, you need to autoclave all the things, instruments, uh, cleaning agents, your medicine also. The thaila, 
Now don't ask me whether the Tyler is going to change its spark or by auto cleaning. Okay, but we auto clean. Huh? Uh, next is uh, everything should be auto cleaned. Now you have to wear the gloves. You have to take your precaution to yourself, right? Gloves. Next, you have to take the pastinetra. Uh, it can be a infant feeding tube or a red rubber catheter. Next, open the uh, labia minora and take the, you have to insert, you have to open the labia minora and find out the urethral orifice. That is very important. Find out the urethral orifice and the gelled or uh, greased uh, Uttarabasti netra should be inserted to the urethra. Now see, when it is inserted into the urethra, what will happen is, next, when, he, when it reaches the bladder, you insert, 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 what will happen? There will be some urine coming out. Then you will identify that your uh, netra has reached with the blood. Okay, that is the indication. You have to remove the, all the residual urine. So, uh, if somebody is not having, usually with the UTIs, they won't have the residual urine. No residual urine at all. So, the second day only, the patient. After Uttarabhasi, second day only patient will start getting the residue. That is very much necessary to prevent the infections. Okay. So, residue, remove all the residual urine. Then, take the medicine in the uh, syringe and insert slowly. Next. Paschat karma, rest. And next, whenever the patient feels full uh, bladder, he can urinate. And after that, if he want, he can have food. That's all. Next. Now, uh, complications. Don't put infection to the patient. No so common infection, something like that. Why Vyakrata? Vyapat. So almost all the Vyapats are Vai Vyakrata only, you know. The patient doesn't know them at all. Many a times it is Vai Vyakrata because of uh, improper assessments. And because of improper administration of the procedure, uh, we commonly this Vaidyakrita Paratha only um, don't put infection. Uh, pain, I have not encountered pain, but may come. Okay. Infection as a part of inflection or inflammation. Inflammation and infections go hand in hand. Bleeding, if there is bleeding, think that there is some major issues. If it is little bit drop by drop, not an issue. But if it is really a major bleeding, then think that there is a major issue. You have to stop or you have to go for some investigations, ultrasound or something like that. Because in all the patients, we, we don't know that whether there is a tumor in the opening of the urethra or not. So you have to, uh, and we don't do USG before all the uh, procedure. So, if some, if you encounter any Vyapats like this, stop the procedure then and there, go for the investigations. If no Pratyagamana also, not an issue. With urine it will go anyway, but usually they, it doesn't go for block. If it blocks, if the urine blocks after your Uttara you have to go for again uh, catheterization. Okay. Now I think, uh, now, so this is all what we tell for our students, right? The area of the dress moves through the different companies and things like that. Uh, I would uh, like to tell one thing. Not only Uttarabhasti, any of the Panchakarma procedures by, works by stimulation. Many a times, uh, absorption by, uh, even though if it is basti, niruha basti, or vamana, or virechana, or uh, uttara basti, absorption, the, there is absorption, sure, but 
most of the work of or most of the action of any panchakarma is because of the stimulation. It stimulates either the nerves or hormones or enzymes, anything like that. And finally, the whole scenario of the whole body changes. Because a, a drug in the urinary bladder cannot change, make big change. Or a uh, basti in the large intestine cannot produce a big change. This all happens because of the stimulate reaction. Okay? At different different levels. Okay, next. So I think uh, do you want mode of action? Huh? Want? Go for it. Period of the drug moves inside the body and thus the action. It can be a local action and a systemic action. I tell you because systemic action because uh, the prior uh, treatment to the nuclear vaccines are happening. So insulin surely do a uh, sarvanga action. That is why I am telling you that it can also do a systemic action. It is usually a stimulatory. Usually a stimulatory. No, uh, no doubt that the drug is not active. Okay, drug will surely act, but most probably it is stimulatory effect. So it does the apana and lomana and uh, brahmana, it can be brahmana, it can be shodhana, whatever is lekhana, everything can be there. Now uh, here what we do is a, a high, large quantity of drug is kept in a particular place for, for a longer duration. Initially when we were studying, no, at that time <coughs> they were telling that even the researchers were all, what if you search in PubMed and all, uh, that time it was told that there is there cannot be any absorption from the bladder. Bladder mucus doesn't absorb anything. Like even basti also it's like that, right? In the large intestine there is no absorption unless little water and things like that. But still you how you can get such a big effect. Similarly, when we were studying that time it was like that, that there is no absorption from the bladder uh, mucosa. But now recent uh, studies say that even many of the C uh, anti-cancerous drugs are even administered in the bladder and they, in the presence of some other drug, gets absorbed. So that is the recent research. So there is some or the other way there is an absorption from the bladder. Uh, since there is repeated installation, the drug contact time is increased. So also the action can be increased by repeated installation of Uttaravasti. Next. It, for Shodhana effect, it is continuously do, doing a bladder wash. Continuously there is a bladder wash that is happening. So this is a uh, chitosan. It is an anti-cancerous drug. Uh, it is a po uh, polysaccharide. Uh, it, it, it has the capacity to reduce the tight junctions of urothelium. Epithelium of uh, bladder, the tight junctions can be loosened. Similar to our nasya, right? Here also there are tight, tight junctions which can be uh, loosened by some of the drugs. Similarly, even uh, this is a polysaccharide which can reduce the tight junctions of urothelium. Similarly, some of our drugs will also have the this capacity, we don't know. Slightly basic pH gets absorbed fastly and the retention time is usually 30 to 45 or up to one and a half hours. It may move up to one and a half hours. Uh, and the liposomes have the more capacity to get absorbed. So our oil stylus have more absorb, uh, absorptive capacity. Next. Thank you. That's all about the Mutra Madhavata Putra Vasta. I hope this was a very simple procedure, right? Ka classical bladder is three uttra basti, initial three uttra basti. Sorry, niruva basti. Initial three uttra After niruva basti, three niruva basti only you have to start uttra basti. So this three niruva basti can be one niruva basti in a day or three niruva basti in a day. Okay, so what our classics used to say, they said, they said that you give Uttaravasti continuously, after Basti comes out, give the second, give the third, right? 
ಹಿಂದಿ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ನಿರೂಹ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ನಿರೂಹ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ನೌ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸಬ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯೋಗ ಬಸ್ತಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ನಿರೂಹ ಬಸ್ತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ನಿರೂಹ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೀವ್ ನಿರೂಹ ಬಸ್ತಿ ಇನ್ ಎ ಡೇ ಸೇಮ್ ಡೇ ತ್ರೀ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಡೇ that is why the nirvana basti gets the name arthas kesa it does the shodana very fast in one hour you can get you can give three nirvana bastis and get the samyak nirvana but nowadays because of the durbala avastha we don't practice this way okay. uh, anything else i hope now we will start practicing ಯೂರಿನರಿ ಉತ್ತರ ಬಸ್ತಿ ಮೂತ್ರ ಮಾರ್ಗ ದತ್ತ ಉತ್ತರ ಬಸ್ತಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇವನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಮಚ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮೇಲ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಯೂರತ್ರ ಲೆಂತ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಮೇ ಫಾರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಮೇ ಫಾರ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಸೇ ಟು ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಗುಲ ಫೈವ್ ಅಂಗುಲ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಗುಲ ಆರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಅಂಗುಲ ಮೋರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬೌಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸಿ ಯುವರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಗುಲ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಮೇ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಗುಲ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಏಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಮೇಲ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾ ಬೆಸಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಡ್ರಗ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ it was not intra vesicular drug administration they wanted the drug to move somewhere in between in the uterus urethra only he used to put so that prostate things are coming there and some anatomical other structures are also coming so to get effect both there and in the bladder everywhere okay so how much the amount we will keep there 200 200 you can change but generally do it okay right now do you want the demonstration of the same putra marga gata marga gata uttara vasti yes 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 okay only for females okay this is yoni gata uttara vasti so when you say oh, yoni gata uttara vasti next next slide next slide first slide so when we say yoni gata uttara vasti it can be to the garbhashaya or it can be to the vagina uh, now the point here is when acharya says he says that administer the drug garbhashaya mukham prati now think garbhashaya mukham prati which means he did not want the drug to put inside the garbhashaya garbhashaya mukham prati that is garbhashaya mukha is cervix so against the garbhashaya mukha just put it against the garbhashaya mukha throw it to the garbhashaya mukha okay that is the one thing i want to tell here next so even uh, this is the classification which we can make it can be garbhashaya gata or yoni gata uttara basti both are dravya based dravya means either it can be snaihika or it can be nai nirubhika nirubhika means kashaya things like that next now these are the anatomical structure i need not have to explain right this is the anatomy applied anatomy things like that i may not have to explain uh, next right now here i want to tell you the capacity that can be held by a garbhashaya is 4 ml the volume that is can be held by garbhashaya is 4 ml okay keep this in mind now where it is indicated and where not it is indicated where it is indicated and where not 
शुक्र दुष्टि शोड़ित दुष्टि ओके ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ शुक्र दुष्टि शोड़ित दुष्टि पुष्पोद्रेक इस अत्यार्थव पुष्पनाश मीन्स अनाथव कष्ट पुष्प इस अपराधुस्थिति placenta previa or placenta abruxo placenta both both can you can try uttar basti in appara dusthiti maybe it will go up okay maybe bleeding will also stop so uh, in appara dusthiti also acharya has told about the administration of uttar basti इनी गर्भाशय के तबियत ही तो अवॉइड ऑलवेज कंजनाइटल एंड जेनेटिक अनामलिस और दादर टाइप्स ऑफ गर्भाशय के तबियत कॉन्ट्राइंडिकेटेड सो वी हैव लर्न वी हैव सीन दिस हाइपरसेंसिटिविटी प्रमेहा कैंसरस कंडीशन फिस्टुलास कंजनाइटल और जेनेटिक अनामलिस दिस आर द जनरल कॉन्ट्राइंडिकेशन फॉर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ Now we'll see vaginal uterus. Now the a very common question uh, from uh, your students, maybe how you can differentiate between vaginal uterus and vaginal pichu and yoni prakshana. Right? You did not get such questions. Huh? Yes, you will get in future. Okay. So how to differentiate with vaginal uterus? As the name indicates, uttarabasti means you are going to keep dravya in that area for a longer duration. In pichu, it is not the whole dravya that is put. It is with that pichu, it is put one. And uh, another thing is uh, in prakshalana, you are going to wash it. That's all. You are not going to keep it there. So these are the procedural differences. That's all. Next. So commonly, uh, yoni gata uttarabasti. That is vaginal uttarabasti. It is indicated in vaginal secretions. Any type of vagi vaginal secretions. We'll see the drugs later. In all the types of secretions, inflammations, infections, which may lead to infertility. There and all, you go for vaginal uttarabasti. Then in cervix erosions, cervical erosion, anti-sperm antibodies. That's also in from the cervix only. Anti-sperm antibody or any inflammation which are leading to infertility. In uh, uterus and ovary, problems with the endometrium. Either thin endometrium or thick endometrium. Both conditions. Uh, Vaginal uterus they can be given, and any type of uh, infertility you can go for vaginal uterus they because uh, vagina like nasahi shiraso dwara vagina is the dwara for uterus. Anything which you put for vagina will surely move into the uterus. That may be the reason why Acharya has told the Garbhashya Mukham Prati. He did not wanted it to make more complicated by putting it into the Garbhashya because once you put it into Garbhashya, there are chances that it will go through the fimbri and fall and the peritoneum cause peritonitis, cause pain, shock, nothing he wanted. He wanted a safe practice of Panchakarma. So that may be the reason. And even the Basti Netra. Nedhayama Sama. So such a thick Basti Netra cannot be inserted into the, uh, through the cervix. Okay, it can in, it be inserted only to the to vagina only. That is why uh, the, he wanted only yoni gata uttaravasti. And we, with the advance of technology, and uh, we think that we are very superior and uh, equivalent to the modern scientific uh, people. Then we started moving more further, and we started ourselves to practice uterine uttaravasti. Okay. 
Next. <coughs> now the contraindications are similar contraindications. Only extra is kanya. Okay. We all know kanya is contraindicated. Next. I think uh, I will skip this. Yes. Okay. Next. Have you seen Basti uh, Pitaka? Yes. Animal bladder? No. Sir will show you. Basti Pitaka. Hmm? We have Basti Pitaka. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow you will be seeing Basti Pitaka. Original Basti Pitaka. Okay. Next. Huh. Now, let us see uh, the same thing, right? We are not seeing anything special here. Next, next dose. Now, dose is one prakuncha. So, according to different acharyas, it is different. Everything is available in the text, okay? But what we practice for vaginal uttarabhasti is 50 to 100 ml. Vaginal uttarabhasti, we practice 50 to 100 ml. According, these are all according to text, okay? Arohana matra you can follow, it can be mantra to chide, for snehana, one prasita, for garbhashe shodana, two prasita, kashaya, two prasita, things are like that. But we commonly practice 50 to 100 ml. 100 ml if you uh, put in the vagina and uh, <coughs> make head low position, you can keep the same dravya there in the vagina for a uh, one hour or two hours. Yeah, but that we is. are giving the more to 5 ml. What is the That is You try. You try. Okay. Okay. Now we are seeing vagina. So everything confusing. No, no, now only vaginal, okay? We are not stepped into the uterine. This is vaginal uterus, 50 to 100 ml. Okay. Next. So, kala. This is for both uterine and uh, vaginal. Madhpurana, madhyana, after food, that is common. Now, the uterabhasti should be given in artava kala. Now what is this Artavakana? Prutustu Dwadasha Nisha. Dwadasha Nisha means from the day of the cycle, 12 nights. So, uh, but when it is bleeding, we cannot administer. When there is bleeding, we cannot administer. Then when do administer? Once the bleeding stops, the day may be fifth day. Fourth day also there will be some bleeding. Fifth day. Fifth day you can administer. Fifth, sixth, seventh day. Fifth, sixth, seventh day. Then, uh, they also say that this time is Avarana Ravita. Why you have to administer? Because that time is Avarana Ravita. What is that Avarana? That is the OS. OS will be, become tight because of the hormonal in, in, influence. Hormone, uh, the OS tightens. So when did the ops will open? Next opening is pre-ovulatory period. 14th day, usually the 14th day is the ovulation time. Pre-ovulatory period, the os will get loosened because of, again because of the influence of the hormones. Then also you can administer. Because when the os is loose, no, you administer to the vagina, it will go inside. How much ever it, it needs, it will go. The remaining it will not go. Everything will be there in the vagina. Okay. So, uh, so it will be post menstrual or pre ovulate. Then it will be 5, 6, 7th day and it can be 10th, uh, 11th, 12th day. Or 11th, 12th, 13th days also fine. 11th, 12th, 13th. That is pre ovulatory. Uh, fifth, sixth, seventh day is post menstrual. So both can be considered as the Artavakala or time for the administration of Artavakala. Okay. Right. 
Okay, Dune. The same, almost the same. Morning Yoga Basti, evening Uttara Basti for eight days. So that was there for even that. Uh, the other uh, Mutra Shegata. Three Niru Basti in the morning and three Niru Uttara Basti in the evening. Three days of Niru Basti and three days of Uttara Basti. Following one another. Only Uttara Basti for three, five, or seven days. Three Niru Basti, three Uttara Basti, give a gap of three days. Again, give three Uttara Basti. So that is also there. Three Niruha Basti. Three on the same day evening only you can give three Uttara Basti. That is five, six, seven days Uttara Basti. Eight, nine, ten gap. Eleven, twelve, thirteen day again Uttara Basti. Got it? That is the last one is told by Acharyas. Acharya says it like that. Give a gap of three days. Again, administer for three days. So, consecutively, you can go for three months. Consecutively, you can go for three months. Next. So, here, Kuna Karma is two to two Niruha Vastis. And the, on the same day, Yoni Prakshalana, before, just before the administration of Uttara Vasti, Yoni Prakshalana has to be done. After that, Yoni Gata Uttara Vasti is administered. Paschal karma is rest and ahara. Next. The rule. Next is uterine or Vabhashe Gata Uttara Vasti. So these are the common things used for Netra to for intra uterine. Now we are think, talking about intra uterine Uttara Vasti, okay? To the Vabhashe. So commonly uh, IV cannula. The, this one is IUI cannula. Okay, this is infant feeding tube, uh, this is red rubber catheter and that is four chips uh, cannula. Okay, so these are all, now you know you will get Uttara Basti Yantra in the market, steel one, Uttara Basti Yantra is available, especially in the North India, uh, Uttara Basti Yantra, this uh, you get a steel one, Uttara Basti Yantra as such in the market, okay. Next, this is the puttaka. That all those were the netras. This is the puttaka. Next, so kaskas speculum, open, closed. These are hegar hegas diameters. Only if necessary you can use. Otherwise, because if you want to dilate, no, you have to hold the anterior lip of cervix with the valsalam. Again, that is going to cause bleeding. Huh? Repeated uh, injury to the anterior lip of uh, cervix is a reason for CA, CA cervix, okay? And CA cervix is the second largest CA that is uh, causing death. Now, uh, this is the uterine sound, okay? And that is why we use cuscus, not sims, okay? Sims, if you want to use sims, sims peculum, then you have to hold the anterior lip to administer the drug inside. So that is why avoiding that we will use cuscus pickle. Next. So this is the table, lithotomy table and this is Kelly's pad. Next. Autoclave machine, cold towel, medicine, glove, cleaning agents. Okay. Next. Again the same things. Then uh, this is uh, enema can for prakshalana, yoni prakshalana. And, okay, next. Dose. So yoni prakshalana, you can take kashaya 500 ml. And dose of garbhashegata uttara basti is 1 to 2 prasita. 1 to 2 prasita. And 1 prasita is how much? Not the general prasada quantity used in basti. General one prasada is 100 ml. 100 ml. Almost uh, 96, 100 ml. Okay. But here it is told as Swanguli Mula Samhita. So you take like this, you put whatever stands inside this. How much ever is the quantity that can be held in this, this part only. 
इस कुंचितानुगुली राइट स्वामगुली मूल संबेतम और कुंचितानुगुली संबेतम सो दैट कम्स अराउंड टेन नंबर सो वी डिड अ सर्वे एंड फाउंड आउट दैट फॉर सम इट विल बी एट नाइन टेन लाइक दैट सो प्रोक्सिमेटली इट कम्स अराउंड टेन एमएल बट देर आर पीपल हु प्रैक्टिस इट टू एमएल फाइव एमएल एंड टेन एमएल सम पीपल प्रैक्टिस टू एमएल ओनली सो क्वांटिटी दैट वॉल्यूम ऑफ यूट्रेस इज फोर एमएल सो इफ यू पुट टू एमएल नथिंग इज गोइंग टू कम आउट इफ यू प्रैक्टिस इट फाइव एमएल almost you can push almost everything is pushed and little bit will come out if you put 10 ml what will happen you almost 4 ml will stay there and remain 6 7 will stay in the upper part of vagina so what is the benefit it is intra uterine as well as this is intra yonigata also right intra vaginal also both the benefits you can get that so our acharyas were so intelligent right so And then then it goes both inside and outside. Next, say when the ovus is open, when the cervix is soft, that is the artery canal, right? Next, now medicines for niroga basti. This based on the condition, infertility can be because of many reasons. So if you want a uh, the dosha hara brahman effect, mustadi apne basti or ekshila basti can be practiced. So, if you want nowadays PCODs are very common, then you can go for a lekhana basti or a inductor mula the lekhana basti. Both are lekhana in nature. Artha matri ka basti commonly told for infertility management. Vaitarna basti or even dasha mula niroha basti in different uh, gynecological conditions can be practiced. Okay. Next, yodi prakshalana can be with trifala kashaya, panchavarkala kashaya, pani yaksharas, dimba kashaya, etc. Right. ओके नेक्स्ट वजैनल उत्तर बस्ती मेडिसिन्स मेडिसिन्स फॉर वजैनल इफ इट इज डिस्चार्ज इफ द पेशेंट मोर डिस्चार्ज इज देयर वी नीड टू रिड्यूस द डिस्चार्ज राइट सो वी नीड सम कषाय रस ड्रग्स सो त्रिफला कषाय इफ इट इज ड्राई वजैना दैट इज आल्सो अ कंडीशन then you have to administer shatavari grita which is brahmana and which will cross increase secretion erosion usually kshara application or kshara paniya uttarabasti is ideal if it is itchy pruritis then you can go for aragvata kashaya uttarabasti so if there is some wound or more and more erosion it is becoming like a wound then go for jatyadi grita or jatyadi taila If it is anti-sperm antibody, go for Indukanta Gritta Uttara Basti. If it is burning sensation, then go for Mahatikta Gritta Uttara Basti. If it is bleeding, then during heavy bleeding you cannot do anything. But once the bleeding reduces, then Durva Lajja Alu Swarasa Uttara Basti can be given. Next. Now Garbhashe Gritta Uttara Basti. Tubal block. कुमारी तैल ऑल दीस आर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट यवक्षार तैल सैंधव मिस्ड विथ हनी सैंधव लाइक हाउ वी डू फॉर द निरूह बस्ती द फर्स्ट प्रोसीड फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ मिक्सिंग ऑफ हनी विथ सैंधव वाज डन एंड दैट वाज एडमिनिस्टर्ड ट्यूबल वॉक वाज ट्रीटेड वेल टॉर्चुअस ट्यूब फलोपियन ट्यूब्स आर टॉर्चुअस देन Uh, then nirgundi taila uttara basti endometrial factor if the endometrial thickness is not enough then it is chatavari ghrita if it is oligomenorrhea kumari taila secondary amenorrhea then it will be more you need a more lekhan effect apamagakshara taila phalasarpi dysmenorrhea dashamula trivra taila sukumara ghrita etc next so generally for uttar basti based on different conditions we use these uh, medicines phala ghrita phala kalyana ghrita shatavari ghrita shatapushpa ghrita sorry shatapushpa taila uh, prolaps bala taila sukumara ghrita uh, brahmi ghrita effect is rishya garbhasthapana shodana so if you want to garbhasthapana ghrita portion go for brahmi ghrita so uh, Uh, something to work on the hormones go for phala sarpi to induce ovulation 
ಲಶೋದ ತೈಲ ಶತಪುಷ್ಪ ತೈಲ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಅವ್ರ ಮಹಾನಾರಾಯಣ ತೈಲ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಕ್ಷಾಲನ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ದ ಕಸ್ಕಸ್ ಟೆಕ್ಯುಲ ವಿಶ್ವಲೈಸ್ ದ ಸರ್ವಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಸರ್ವೈಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಶ್ವಲೈಸ್ ನೌ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಸರ್ವಿಕ್ಸ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೌ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ದ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಸರ್ವಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಯೂಟ್ರಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ದ ಔಷಧಿ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಯೂಟ್ರಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದ ಬಸ್ತಿ ನೇತ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಕಾಮನ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪೇನ್ ಪೇನ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯೂಟ್ರಸ್ ಯೂಟ್ರಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮಸ್ಕುಲರ್ ಓಪನ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸಮ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯೂಟ್ರಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಔಷಧಿ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಫೆಲೋಪಿನ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಟೆರಿಟೋರಿ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸಿವಿಯರ್ ಪೇನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೇ ಎಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಶಾಕ್ so peritonitis is another complication and infection you have to treat accordingly next when these complications occurs when we are using more than 5 ml quantity 10 ml if you slowly push no nothing will happen yeah. it will go like this and it will come back it will not go sideways okay it goes come back it becomes like a uh, one after the other way it it goes as a coating and after that it will not go in the sides usually slowly you push nothing will happen 10 minutes next next see vagina there is a dense network uh, of vessels in the upper part of vagina and this bypasses the first pass mes- metabolism so whatever drug is ad- administered it will be directly move into the circulation and uh, that is why upper one third is more having more absorptive capacity uh, uterus has less absorptive capacity when it's compared to vagina and uh, absorption can also happen by passive dif- diffusion or it can also be happen it can also happen by stimulation and so things so uh, i think that's all Next. yeah thank you this is about the uh, vaginal and uterine uterus okay. test anything you want to know ಲೇಖನ ಟೈಪ್ but there also don't every every time don't go for brahmanati see the cause now anything else